I'm sure you'll all agree that using passwords is now on the road to extinction. Hi there, in this video I'm going to cover the topic of security and going passwordless using FIDO2 security keys. We'll cover setting up Azure AD, Microsoft Intune and registering the security key for a single user. Let me start by saying a big thanks to Fatian though, who kindly provided me with three of their FIDO2 security keys and I'll be using one of these to demonstrate the, how it works in a passwordless experience. Before we dive into the demo though, I first want to look at some of the background and put some context around this topic. Recent statistics show 81% of cyber attacks are due to compromise username and passwords. So when we look at passwords, old, old security approaches in the enterprise simply no longer apply. When we think about it, the only people who like passwords are hackers now. We have to create and remember them, which is why help desk gets so many calls, right? Not only are they expensive to manage, but easy for hackers to guess. So the first approach and quickly becoming the standard in this area is turning on multi-factor authentication, which reduces the risk considerably. But as we know, Two-factor auth and passwords is still not the most convenient and secure method. So what is the answer? Well, FIDO or Fast Identity Online is an open standard for passwordless, or passwordless authentication and is backed by an alliance of companies. FIDO allows users to sign into their resources using an external security key, totally eliminating the need for username and passwords. With FIDO's two security keys, users can sign into Azure AD or hybrid Azure AD joined Windows 10 devices and get single sign on to their cloud and on-premise resources. They also allow for sign into supported browsers. So FIDO security keys are a great option for enterprises, especially where they have a very security sensitive or have scenarios where employees aren't willing or able to use their phone as a second factor. So now we've set the scene and context around this, let's switch over and have a quick look at how we set this up. So over on the Fetian website, we've got a breakdown of the devices that they provide. And as you know, I've got three of these, the first of which is the K26. Now this is a BioPass FIDO02 key. It's a USB type C connectivity. Um, it doesn't have near field communication or any MFC um, connectivity, but it is does have a fingerprint reader and it is FIDO02 compatible. The other one I have is the K9C. This is a type A USB connectivity. It does have NFC, uh, no fingerprint, but it is FIDO02 compatible. And lastly, I've got the A4B, which is uh, an ePass FIDO. Okay, this does not have NFC or a fingerprint reader, but it is FIDO02 compatible. Now for this particular demo here, I'm gonna be looking at the K26 and showing how we use this with Intune and uh, Authenticate to Azure AD. So that's the pass that I will, um, will be demonstrating in this video. Now, if you look over on the Microsoft website, there's a really good write-up about passwordless authentication options for Azure Active Directory. And if you scroll down the page, you'll see that there is a list of all the manufacturers or FIDO2 security key providers. One of which is um, Fatian, as these are the token that I've, uh, or security key I've been, will be using today. So take a look at this, I'll include it in a link on, as part of the video, but you can see all the various options and features and certifications each of these devices provide. So there are a number of steps we need to follow to configure and get this set up uh, for our security key. And once you've done these, um, pretty much when you set the base for this, you can go and register your security keys for individual users. But first off, when you're starting off, you need to go into the your Azure tenant and then go into the Active Directory, Azure Active Directory and select users. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to pick a specific user to do a test of this. So I'm gonna hit the per user MFA. And then gonna select Alex as my test user here. You can see that he's currently disabled. I'm gonna enable him. 
So I'm going to enable MFA there. Okay, I can now close that window. Now the next thing I want to do is actually go and turn the security keys authentication method on. To do that, I go into the Azure AD security and then I select authentication methods. Now you can see that I've got FIDO security key option here, but it's currently uh, disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that on. It's just a simple switch. Now I can choose whether I can select users, but I'm going to actually select set that on for all users at this point. So I'm going to save that and we can see that that is now enabled. So for our next step, we're going to go into the test users account and actually register the security key, the FIDO2 security key to Alex, our test user too. So to do that, we're going to set up a new in private window. We're going to go to my profile for because this is a Windows account and I'll show you how to set up for a non Windows account uh, a little bit later. So we've gone into Alex's account and within there I can go into security info. Now I have been in this account before, but you'll see that it already has the authenticator app. So it originally it should and it would authenticate me via the authenticator app. But we can see we can add a uh, sign in method here. Now, because we've enabled the authentication method for security, security keys, we should see it. And there you have it. You've got the security key option. So we're going to add that in. Now, my security key here specifically is USB. It's actually USB-C, uh, which I showed earlier. So I'm going to hit the next button. We have the key ready. And as we register this, it will um, register the specific details with our account, which will allow us to do some uh, it'll, it'll do some tracking as we log in and log out of using this uh, using these credentials. So we're going to go ahead and hit the OK here. We're going to continue the setup. It's just saying it's registering for my to my account. At that point, I'm going to put the uh, photo to key in and remember this one has a fingerprint sensor it's asked me for a security pin and then it's going to ask me to uh, touch the bio sensor on the front of that and there we have it it's registering the details I just need to give it a name I'm going to give it the um, give it a name relating to the actual um, the actual key here. So I'm going to give it the K26, which is what it is, and it's telling me I'm all set. So I now have that set up. Okay. The next point we're going to go back to the um, endpoint. Microsoft Intune and we're going to do some configuration there. So we've opened up our Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and there are a few options to allow us to register a security key as a sign-in option. Three, There are three different ways I'm going to show you how to do this but I'm only going to pick one specifically. So remember we're doing this for a Windows device and to be specific if you're wanting to use a Windows device that is um, Azure AD joined specifically, the Windows version will need to be version 1909 or above. If you're going to log on using um, a hybrid Azure AD join machine, then that will need to be at least 2004. Remember, be specific about that. There are specific reasons why that is, is the case. But if we go into um, Windows, and then Windows Enrollment. We, they've got an option called Windows Hello for Business. Now obviously Windows Hello for Business has got um, a passwordless option here. This is one of the options that you can take rather than the security key. But we have two um, flags that we can, we can set here. We can either configure Windows Hello for Business or security keys for sign on. Now you don't need to do both and in this case I'm going to just enable the security key for sign on and I can save that the work the two work independently so be aware of that 
So I'm going to save that. But I have tested this in the past and with my experience, there is a better way of doing this. And the better way of doing that is going into and creating a configuration profile. So we're going to create a new configuration profile. It's going to be Windows 10 and later. It has to be, it's going to be a template and we're specifically going to pick identity protection. So we give it a name. security key auth and then we're going to see options here now we're not worried about windows hello again this is setting up the same settings as we as we just seen so what i'm going to do is just switch on use security key for sign on so i'm going to enable that it's going to give me the option obviously to add a group now our test user alex if you remember is in a specific passwordless group so i'm going to add that group to this um, what that will do once I've selected this I'll hit the next um, I don't want any, any applicable rules I'm going to hit next again and then I'm going to create on hitting that creation it will send that policy down to the Windows 10 device and that will allow us to use the um, security key as a sign in option so I'm going to hit the create there now you will need to uh, synchronize this to your specific device or devices for in order for that to work um, and I'm going to give it a few minutes before and even reboot this machine um, to, to see it working. Right I've rebooted my machine but before we go and test this I want to show you the last and third options available for configuring the uh, sign in option. Again, we get, we're in configuration profile, so I'm going to create a profile, select Windows 10 and later, and again, I'm going to click the templates, but in, instead of using the identity protection, I'm going to use the custom option. Now, the cost, custom option allows us to uh, specifically put the settings in, which is identical to the identity protection, but you actually see the details that are needed and being used under the hood. So I hit the, I give it a name and I hit the next. And then what I would do is I'd hit add. Okay, now I'm not gonna give, um, fill these, these details in and I will give you the uh, information within underneath the video. So check that out if you need that information. But this is the third option that you can use. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel that and go out. So at this point, we can test this working. So I'm going to test this going in the logging on to my office account. So I'll start a uh, in private window and I'll go to office.com and then I'll hit the sign on. Now this point is going to ask me for uh, details to log on, uh, allowing me to use the various options. But I've got the sign in options down here. I'm going to choose sign in with a security key. It's going to check my PC but then it's going to give still give me the options and I can choose security key here so if I hit OK it's going to ask me to insert my key into the USB port remembering that all the credentials have been saved specifically to my security key specifically and I'm going to hit the or enter the um, the pin that I created when I first registered this and then it's asking me to touch the bio sensor on the actual device so I do that and it should log me on and there we have it I didn't use any um, username or password in order to get into my account there and it logged me straight on now if you remember I configured a configuration policy and sent that down to my Windows 10 device specifically for my Alex account. So at this point I'm going to see whether that has um, been it's been picked up. So I've hit the lock screen on my Windows 10 device. Now I can go ahead and sign in to my Windows machine. It's asking me to insert my security key, so I'll go ahead and do that. First prompts me for my PIN, which is associated and registered with my security key. And then it asks me to touch the uh, biosensor 
on the front of the device. And there you have it, it's logged me back into my Windows machine. And I've not had to use a password, just the secur security key. So thanks for joining us on this video and thanks to Fatium for providing us with the security keys. Hopefully this has provided you some useful information. So please go ahead, like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon.